I'm gonna move on, right? So now I got a lot of friends, a lot of friends that's not in the industry that know that I'm in the industry. And when they hear stories, right? They could hit me up to see if if it's true or not. And and when I tell you I done got so many texts and DMs and messages about this whole Buster Rhymes thing. And now this whole Buster Rhymes thing came from this dude that you know. He's like uh, he's doing like uh, his little Gene Squill uh rounds, right? Which meaning you know, claiming celebrity bodyguard, but telling uh like uh Gene Squill them birth some more uh niggas that was bodyguards that th that think it's cool now to fuck up their business and their livelihood, unless they don't want to be bodyguards no more and get on the internet and tell these niggas secrets and, and personal shit. So they got this new dude, I don't even know his name. He just, they just all call celebrity bodyguard, right? He goes and he does an interview and he talks about um, how Buster allegedly likes um, like boys with big butts or some crazy shit. I don't know, right? But I get a bunch of people hitting me up. Yo, Cho, you heard what they say about Buster? Yo, Cho, don't tell me not Buster. Buster too, Cho? Buster? Right? So let me say this, right? You celebrity bodyguard niggas don't follow Gene Squill thinking that because you getting checks for these niggas to do these interviews that is cool because you fucking up your livelihood, my niggas. I'm telling you, nobody's gonna hire y'all, and then I'm and you, you're gonna make it hard for the other people that don't do that. What y'all doing? Getting up there telling niggas uh, personal business. You know what I'm saying? So just a little advice. You know what I'm saying? If you in security and you around these people, these celebrities, they hire you. I'm telling you, you black security dudes that's getting up on here running your mouth telling these niggas business you're killing your own goddamn uh lifeline in that business because they're not gonna hire you bro because one of the key things on security with uh, with these celebrities is confidentiality you know what I'm saying? They they want to be able to go and uh, sneak around and do shit. Some of these niggas, most of these niggas be married. That y'all talking about. <laughs> so you making it worse on top of that. You know what I'm saying? But my point is this. Y'all going, y'all trying to be Gene Squill and if Gene Squill works doing security at a pool right now at a public pool he can nobody's hiring him in the entertainment business right this nigga is working I and I this ain't jokes this is the truth he does security at a pool making sure niggas got to take a shower before they get in the pool I mean they get his money I get his money right Outside of him talking about he pimping the mailbox, I don't, I don't know how he pimping the mailbox because he's still working, you know, uh, being uh, working at this pool 
you know, making sure kids don't run and, and you got to take a shower before you get in the pool. But my point is this. Don't you think he'd rather be doing security for a celebrity where he's getting 10 times the money he would be getting at the pool? So all y'all out there that you're not thinking... I think I'm gonna have to call him back. Um, hold on, let me send a text. That nigga ain't calling here. You crazy. I'll call you back. Sorry, Ebony. I ain't you calling me. Stop clowning. Um, so just just a, a just a little advice to all y'all that is watching these interviews and you thinking that that is gonna make you famous. Um, y'all made you back. Um, what you call it? Uh, like if, if you're trying to get the publicity, and and I'm like these dudes that I'm like the dude that was talking about Buster, he young. Like he he got a whole long he well he could have had a long <laughs> a long career, but uh that ain't gonna happen. Like those niggas is calling around right now, like, cause he talked about Jeezy, he talked about uh Buster or whatever. So niggas already done called around like, yo, don't hide that nigga. Yo, who this nigga? Who that like don't don't be Gene Squirrel, man. I know it looks cool to be on YouTube on all the channels telling niggas uh personal business and, and thinking it's Cool, because you see a nigga getting views and everything. They gonna cut his own fucking legs off. You know what I'm saying? And instead of being running around with a list celebrities, this nigga doing chlorine checks. Now, as far as is Buster. Yo, Choke, what is that true about Buster's now? Look, I done told y'all over and over and over and over. When you get to a certain level, right? And you are in the same company of the same people that you hear about the same goddamn rumors of. At this point, it should not be a question in any of your minds about certain people. Now, can I say for sure that I know Buster get down like that? No, because I would, would. How would I know if I wasn't in the room, right? I can't say that for sure, right? Have I heard this before? Yes. Is this the first time I heard it? No. Right? But just like I tell y'all in, in, uh, in my song, the Public Enemy song, you're not going to be a part of that circle unless you are with the shits. Now y'all want to choose and believe and pick and oh, not this person, not that person. And listen, remember what I said in the song, the game at me fool got in was young. Though a talent made you rich, damn was dumb. Take more to make 
cake from crumbs. You got to be sweet. G or native tongue, whether a gangster, gangster rapper, right? Or native tongue. Who's in the native tongues? Who's in the native tongues? I'll give you one. Queen Latifah, right? Moni Love. Remember what Miss Jones said on, on Drink Chips about her, Mon her and Moni Love and Tupac? Whether that's, I don't know if that's true or not because Moni Love denies it. And Miss Jones confirms it. So one of them two is lying, right? But how many gangster rappers get down like that? Right? They say they say Diddy, right? Diddy will fall under the gangster rappers, right? They say J, uh, Dr. Dre, right? This is all alleged because we were, none of us was in the room with these niggas. But I'm, it's a requirement. Right? You're not going to be around these niggas if you're not in it. So when dudes ask me, yo, Joe, what about this nigga? Do he hang with Diddy? If, if you say Diddy is the, the, the ringmaster and they run around with Diddy, have you seen any of these dudes with Diddy? Hanging heavy. Right? And I'm not saying Diddy is the, the bar or whatever, but at this point in the, in the inter entertainment industry, y'all niggas got to know, they don't fuck with niggas like me because like this bodyguard nigga, they don't, they not going to fuck with him. You know what I'm saying? Why? Because he don't play in those games and it is a problem for you to tell the truth because they don't want their wives, th these girls, these groupie girls. They might, just because they like men, they might want to uh, hit this groupie girl because she's so cute or whatever, whatever reason, right? But all them niggas that is in that certain club certain bracket, certain crowd, this, that, you ain't got to question it. Stop. It, it. Question why some of the people that was blowing up stopped right why certain people ain't where certain people are right like cool herc didn't go where africa being bottom went right <laughs> I, I don't want to start naming niggas <laughs> Right, but like I told y'all, the game every fool got in was young. I thought talent made you rich, damn was dumb. More to make cake for crumbs. You gotta be, you got to be sweet, whether you're a gangster or a native tongue. My heartbeat went into overload when Larry tried to turn me into a mole. Told me show my curly to the CEO. Larry Curly mows the three stooges, right? Uh, so my, my Curly will be my nuts, right? To the CEO. I didn't think it's funny, so his jaw hit the floor and grabbed that chair that broke his back. I mean, I punched the nigga in the face, took him a chair, and broke it over his back because the nigga tried to uh, test my sexuality, right? Grabbed that chair that broke his back. Then realize that's a hate attack when harassment comes assault. Meaning these niggas in the industry keep sexually harassing me, trying to flip me, right? 
which made it an assault because the motherfucker really tried to try me and I put my hands on him. Right? And that's a uh a reference to the motherfucker at BET that kept talking that shit and I put my hands on him, but I didn't fucking punch him and I ain't crack him over over the head with a chair. I just grabbed the nigga up and pushed him up against the fucking bar and told that nigga stop fucking playing with me. I had him on his tippy toes, right? But it's all significant in this in this song because this is why I'm the public enemy in my pit in the industry, right? So I grabbed the chair that broke his back, then realized it's a hate attack. When harassment comes assault, you in the maze. Meaning motherfucker harass you so much, you put your hands on them. Now you in trouble. You know what I'm saying? You in the maze with no way out, like Puff and Mace, right? Now, we know allegedly Puff and Mace was getting down together, right? And that comes from Cameron. Him and Mace is cool now. But Cam, you can't get mad that you told us that uh, Cam, Mace used to have uh, had a dildo in his bathroom, in his bedroom, in the house that he was sharing with Puff. And then he told you that was Puff's dildo. You can't be mad. You said it, nigga. It's still on the goddamn internet. And if, it, if you didn't say it on the Breakfast Club, I would play it. Right? So no, you, well, you, you have no way out like Puff and Mace. You touch me, tease me, I catch a case. Meaning the case song, but meaning if you fucking touch me or you even try it, nigga, I'm going to catch a case because I'm not going to let you violate me. And then I'm telling y'all, this nigga ain't as straight as his poker face. How these niggas running around acting like they straight, but meaning they not heterosexual by saying, nigga, you ain't straight as your poker face. Father of law, God, if you take the first letter of each word, you put that together, father of law, God, in that game, I fold. When I say, you ain't as straight as your poker face, Father of Law God, right? So you sit here in front like you straight, but you over here hitting on niggas, right? So you're Father of Law God. And that's why I say, in the industry, in that game, I fold. The sun don't tick. Demon time don't hold. Like, I'm not on that demon time shit. They are. So when you ask me a question like, um, yo, Joe, yo, that shit they said about Buster, is it true? Listen to the Public Enemy song is all I'm going to tell you, right? I can't say it's true for a fact because I wasn't in the room with the nigga, right? But... Buster Rhymes is not going to tell me that he was in proposition at no point in his career with some gay shit. That I'm willing to bet everything on. At some point in his career, he got tried. Now, whether he succumbed to it or not, that's a different story. But you're not going to tell me that did not happen to him, especially early on. This Instagram just ended at a perfect time because I want to use it. <laughs> 